All right, I'm gonna show you how to be super legit with Git. Uh, go ahead and go to new repository. I know shocking, that's the first step. So go ahead, name it whatever you want. I guess I'll name it test just for testing purposes. Uh, make sure you don't have initialize this repository with a readme uh, checked. If it's checked, uncheck it. If it's unchecked, uh, check it, then uncheck it. Uh, bu so go ahead and copy this URL. Uh, pretty much done with the site now. Go ahead and open your git bash terminal. If you don't have git bash, install it. Uh, if you never used Unix before, you only need to know like two commands. You need to know CD and LS. There's some git commands, but that's like four. So CD, that takes you to a certain file. LS shows you all files uh, that are in that directory. So right now I'm in the root directory, so it pretty much shows all the files on my uh, PC, like desktop downloads. Uh, so go ahead and CD to whatever folder file you want. I'm going to go ahead and go to Google Drive. And as you can see, I'm using quotation marks because I have a space in the file name, which is kind of a no-no, but you know I'm a casual. What are you going to do? CD projects. So as you can see here, no space is needed, so I can just go to projects. Um, let's see, CD. Uh, all right, I guess I'll go to open directories. All right, so go wherever you want to go, go. Open directories, CD example. Let's see. All right, so this is Chrome extension. And say if you're in a directory and you want to go backwards, you just do CD and then minus or dash, and it'll take you back. Uh, so now I got my directory that I want all these folders on upload them So what you're gonna do is pretty much do the baby basics, which is pretty much just um, Get your directory ready to be uploaded. So you want to do is get in it and that pretty much just uh, preps your directory to be uploaded so get in it uh, Now what you want to do is do get remote add origin now this pretty much adds the origin as um, as whatever your repository name is, test in this case. Git remote add origin, so now origin is that uh, URL. So what you want to do now is, if you want to check, I think if you do git negative v, it'll tell you if it works. Oh wait, uh, git remote negative v. Alright, it looks like it works. Fetch worked, push worked. Okay, cool. So... Now what you want to do is just do git add dot. That pretty, what this does is basically takes all the files in your directory and it adds it pretty much to a queue to be you know pushed to your uh, repository. So git add dot. Put all those files. Don't worry about warnings. Just ignore them. Unless unless it looks scary, ignore it. So git add dot. Now what you want to do is git commit negative m. And I guess I'll name this first commit. That'll be the name of it. That'll be the description. Go ahead and do that, and book, ba -da -da. there you go. By the way, the, everything that I'm doing right now is pretty much mandatory. Like, you have to commit. You have to do all these different things in order for it to work. Uh, so, git commit, negative M, and now we are ready to git push origin master. So, pretty much push the master directory to origin, and da -da 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 -da. magic. Look at that. So now you got a new branch, all your files have been pushed, and now if you go back to that page we were on, and you refresh it, boom, magic, look at that, first commit, as you can see, you have your example folder, you have any other folders, you can see several folders, uh, pretty cool, I'm pretty sure this is the only way you can put folders, like it, if you go to like upload um, something to... Uh, Git. I'm pretty sure they drain your energy and you can only do files. I don't think they let you do folders. So that's a plus of using the Git terminal. Uh, this is pretty much the basics of it. This is pretty much all you really need. Um, obviously later on if you're doing it with like a group of people you might need to know a little bit more. But that's pretty much the basics of it. Uh, a couple of steps. I'll even put a link in the description that pretty much outlines what I just did. So if for some reason you have an attention span bigger than mine and don't want to watch the video, I guess check that out. But then again, it's the end of the video, so you've already seen the video. So why would you go, yeah, that, you know what I mean, you get my point. But that's pretty much it. <sighs> pretty legit. And that's how you pretty much just uh, upload files to your Git.